All right, guys, back again. I hope you've been able to work through the first question one and, and question two very nicely in terms of defining conflict. I hope you're working there. Remember, if you have any questions, ask your parents or ask your leader or even write to me at uh, pathfinders at secadventist.org.uk. All right, if you have any questions, if you don't understand anything that I've shared with you, write to me and I promise I'll, I'll, I'll write back to you too, too quickly. Okay, um, and the second one was in identifying the conflict. So for one question one and two is identifying the conflict and remember you must write for me um, what advice would you give, okay? So now, number three, number three is identifying um, particular things which people would bring to the table, say, um, you know, we, we, we're going to deal with conflict this particular way and whether you think it's a great thing or, 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 or whether you think it's, it's, it's something bad. So this is the question where you need to identify these things and then um, uh, give some, if you can think of some ideas um, in the Bible of, of, of how uh, people um, dealt with that. So there's three points there. There's the idea of escape. There's the idea of attack, or there's the idea of working it out, or what this big word is said, conciliation. Okay, so what does it mean by escape, um, attack, or working it out? So there's three ideas and, and three uh, uh, um, concepts that people would use in dealing with conflict. So like I said, this is, the, this, is, this is the part where you are dealing with it and, 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 and what, what you would say is the best way. So, first of all, is escape, right? You know what escape means, okay? When it's a big fire, or there's, 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 a, there's, a, there's an earthquake, or there's an accident, or something, you're in danger. What happens is you run away. That's what escape means, right? You escape from the danger. You, you want to get as far away from the danger. Now, when we talk about conflict, or when you talk about arguments, or you're talking about fighting between two people, is escaping the best way, right? Now, there's, there's three things. There's, there's deny, there's blaming game, or there's running away, all under the escape category. Now, um, what is deny? Deny means that you say, um, I didn't do it. It's not my fault. Um, I don't have a problem. You know, um, um, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not to blame in this, this thing. Denying, yes? Now, now. We're in the Bible, perhaps, and you want to think of your creative juices, you know, in your, in your brain. Where in the Bible, perhaps, does it talk about um, somebody denying that they have a problem or denying that they do it? Remember, there's a story. It's a big story in the New Testament. Just before Jesus was crucified, there was one guy, remember, he was standing at the fire. And people came to him and they said, surely you are one of the disciples. Remember what the guy did? Here's your chance to think about it. And perhaps you can use him as an example. But the problem with denial is that it prevents people from seeking a solution. If you deny, you don't want it to have a solution. solution and that's probably not a good way um, to deal with conflict. The second one is the blame game. There's a lot of people that do that, right? Blame. Ah, it's your fault. It's you. It's not me. It's you. You know, it's you, 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 you. Always the, 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 the blame game. What does the blame game do? Right? The blame game means that you're shifting the problem to somebody else. And that's not always the good thing um, to do. It doesn't help the situation. Now, where was the blame game play? The example, right? Think of example. Yeah. Be creative. Think about right in the beginning of the Bible when something happened and somebody ate a piece of fruit that they were not supposed to do. Remember that story? All right, think about that example and think about what happened there and how the blame came, whether it helped or didn't help the situation um, with them. Third one is running away. Now, that's the one we talked about, right? Running away. Um, what happens there? When confronted with, with something, um, with with the problem, and somebody says, oh, "Why did you do that?" You know, you know, people run away. It's not always good. 
because it's once again not wanting to face that there's a problem. Now, I think of a biblical example. Remember, uh, Joe, Jacob, perhaps, right, ran away once when he um, dis deceived his father, or back there in the beginning again, when those people ate the fruit they were not supposed to eat, what did they do? They went to hide. Okay, so that's one. Deny, blame game, run away. Okay, second one, B, under the, you know, under the dealing with conflict is attack. Now, okay, attack. Now, what does attack mean? When you come with conflict or when there's differences of opinion, what people think is sometimes the best way to do is actually attack and put somebody down and make that person feel horrible or bad in order to shut them up and not to deal with the situation. Now that's bad, okay? That's not good. A personal example, perhaps, um, in the sense, you know, is if you put somebody down and, you know, somebody comes to you and said you have a private problem or they fight with you, and then you start what? You start naming, you know, start, start, start giving them names. And they say, look, pff, you're stupid, man. Yeah, why must you be so stupid? You know, or, 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 you ugly, you know, or, or, or you bad, whatever. That's not good, okay? Gossip. Putting people down is to talk about somebody else behind their back. The third one is fight. Using this is not always a good way to dealing with conflict. And that's the, that, is the, that is the worst way. And so what are some of the biblical examples that is being there? You need to think about that. You know, what are the biblical examples in, in there? You know, people wanted to sort it out with a fight. There's a lot of war stories in the Old Testament. You know, somebody didn't get their way and, and, and they're dealing with, with that. Okay, so, so then there's the third one. The third one is to the, the work it out model. Now, this is probably from the three, this is probably the better one with dealing with conflict. Okay, so there's three categories there, there's three concepts there. Overlook, talk it out, and the third one is get help. Okay, get help. Now, overlook doesn't mean that you overlook and you think nothing is wrong. Overlook doesn't mean that you run away. Overlook means that, listen, um, maybe, maybe I must look at something from from that person's perspective. Maybe the problem is not that bad and I don't need to make a big deal about it, you know, and hey, life carries on. But, but I want you to think about that and perhaps there's some biblical example maybe in your personal life that you feel, hmm, maybe I didn't have to make a big deal about that. You know, my friend took something. You know, I've lost my friend like that. Maybe I, I didn't need to make a big deal about that. Talking it out is one of the best ways to actually deal with the situation and go and sit down and say, listen, man, we've got a problem here. We fought, we struggled with each other. Maybe here's a good advice to deal with, you know, parents or, 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 or adults. And adults have a big problem with not willing to talk things out. To get two people together and they said, actually, listen, can we talk about this? Not too long ago, I had a situation, my own family, you know, had a problem and, you know, and my you know, my, 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 my son my son and daughter just came and said, listen, Dad, we need to talk this out. We did. And, and it was a great, great idea. And then the third one is to get help. Now, some people's problems, some people's conflict really get so bad. And sometimes the best way is to get somebody else, right? A pastor or a counselor to deal with it. And of all the three, the working it out is the best way now. If you think about some biblical examples there, perhaps, um, remember Joseph and his brothers, they ran away, never, you know, they sold him, and in the end they had to deal with it. Remember what happened? They actually sat down and they talked it out, and guess what? Great ending to the, to the story. So, these are the three things. So, what I want is that I want you to think about, you know, a personal example, perhaps if you did, a biblical example of each one of those categories and tell me a little bit more what you think is the good thing or is it, is it not a good thing or you know, to deal with with any of these ways of, of conflict so 
Number four that, so you've got, you've got the identifying the conflict, you've got examples of conflict in the Bible, you've got you know, things, um, um, how to work it out. And now the fourth one is what I want you to do for me. Now, there it says you must reverse or role play a conflict from your own life and identify where you are on that slippery slope or how you identify how you dealt with it and whether you think it was a good thing um, that you dealt with it, okay? Or, or was a good thing how you dealt with it? Now, role play may not be so easy because you may not have a friend, you may have a brother or sister there, you may not be able to do it. But what I want you to do is perhaps draw a picture, right? Or uh, <coughs> do a video if you want, or uh, um, 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 do something creative. Picture is probably the best way to that describes perhaps you know, a conflict in your own life or perhaps a conflict in somebody else's life. You don't need to mention names um, or a conflict that you think that you see somebody else is going through and where they are on that slippery slope in terms of how they dealt with it and whether you think it was the best way and what advice perhaps you can illustrate in that picture. And I want you to be creative, right? Whatever you want to do. Maybe you want to do a role play and write a play you know, in terms of some people maybe be creative in writing an actual skit or a or a drama, you know, of how to deal with the content. But 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 be creative, and you send it to me on paper, um, or, or in an email, or as a video, and we'll assess it. So there are the four things: peace, honor, peacemaker, honor that you can do, and I hope um, good luck with it. I bless you with it. Remember, if you have any questions. Write to us, pathfinders at secadventist.org.uk um, um, and, and we'll see how far we can help you. Right. Until next time, God bless and I hope you enjoy doing this honor this week.